to a redo of uh, my Let's Play Resident Evil No Safe State run. I'm joined by... Loopy Third. And this time we should have no lag and hopefully not make as many mistakes as the last time. Uh, and I'll apologise a bit, I am a wee bit ill, so I might cough and splutter but I'll try and uh, mute my microphone if it's going to happen. Is it still lagging a bit? Uh... Is that just uh, because... It's, it's tolerable, don't worry about it, it's uh, fine enough for me. Well last time I didn't see it were lagging and it really lagged, that's why I had to do the whole thing over again. Anyway, this time we will not mess up on the shotgun trap. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can't blame me too much for that. I guess I can't, but I guess I can. Yeah, it's, I suppose it's a 50-50 thing, isn't it? And this time we have the intro in, folks. The horrible acting one. I was actually watching the Biohazard Complete disc that you get with the Japanese edition of Director's Cut or such. You actually get the Japanese dubbed intro. Right. I was actually playing with Director's Cut. It's absolutely different to the normal version. Oh no, we're not doing that. We better not be doing that. Just bear with me. I can edit all this out, so just bear with me. Uh, that should be fine. Why is that working? Still with me? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm still here, dude. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. What's going on here? What's just up on that? There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of Now this Robert one's always interesting, eh? Hey. Does this mean there are there are dogs that were scared? I reckon it's Cerberus dogs that those that are by the helicopter and they just keep popping back to house. But then they said See, people. Uh, uh, in in the book, I believe the first book by S. D. Perry, which is obviously the. First game. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. <laughs> However, we soon discovered why. Eight bit tired of play of this with the actual original intro with Volagarin. True. Well, I should say high, more highly trained police officers, aren't they? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> no. No. Oi! Get Or whatever he says in the Japanese. <laughs> no. Don't go.
watching them. It's, it. it's not a bad free edit of the sequence. Chris Redfield. Although Chris still should have been smoking a cigarette. What? Jill Valentine. No, I'm gonna point something out. Barry's 38, not 88, as it seems to pop up. Barry Burton. Yeah, I know, that's a really badly looking three, isn't it? Yep. Rebecca Jill. Oh gosh, Jill. <laughs> Take this weapon, it's really powerful. Wesker. I think, I don't know what it is, but Wesker's like, actual human compadre, it looks like he's had his hair spray paint on. Oh, it, it is ultra yellow, isn't it? It does <laughs> not look right. No. Well, they thought it was safe, but, oh, it's, yeah, it's yeah in this one. You know what's what really annoying? Maybe what's that one, dude? We're gonna probably get a better laptop. I'll probably end up doing this LP again. <laughs> it's just how things go. For like five years, people be looking like, "Hey, you've got one, two. Oh, why have you got three of the same room? And I'm like, "Well, uh, I've earned three cents, by the way, since I started." line begins. <laughs> okay, we didn't expect that glitch. I don't know if it's more cheesy because he just says it as if it's like it's just bored or just plainly. <laughs> I wonder, I always sometimes what wonder that Barry's just like being a snarky kid to Jill and he's just like what is a it? dining room. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that actually is because of Blood Fox. If you go in Chris's scenario, there's no such blood there, which means that actually is Chris's blood. I, I see. So that is the accepted point, is that it is supposed to be Chris, but I don't know. Well, the thing I mean, is, it's a bit of a fix, because when you rescue him from uh, the unknown place, because I'm trying to make it's not spoilers, he, um, he has no wounds on him, does he? No, that's what I mean. I, I believe, again, in the book, they expand it to be uh, Forrest's or Kenneth's blood. Like, as a blood trail, and that's how they come across the first uh, well, encounter. Well, the blood trail is with, For with Forrest, I know that one, because you can see the handprint, the same with Richard. Yeah, I think, obviously, in the novelisation, they change it slightly. Although, it's been a hell of a long time since I've read it. <laughs> Now, apparently the ones that are properly white scold are actually more dangerous. Cause really? I was, I, I was reading that the actual ones in the green jackets and the really pale heads are more dangerous than the normal other ones. Alright, I thought... Run, the, Jill. The Chris scenario, the uh, lab coat zombies were supposed to be the harder ones. I'm, well, I'm more used to Jill's scenario because I'm really scenario. <laughs> You gotta look like what, what is Barry doing there? Admiring the tapestry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's chicken wow, to be near. Such fine embroidery work on this tapestry. <laughs> Only my wife could make one. Yeah. I always thought it was just checking the DNA sample to see if it wouldn't stars members go away, Norton. In fact, that'll be a point. Let's just turn you off for a bit. Like duration. Permanently. No. I'll put five hours just in case. My firewall's still on. Is it? It should speed it up a bit. Yes, I know. Kenneth was killed, killed too. Maybe by this creature. Maybe by this creature. And anyway, 
Let's report this to Wesker. It must be my recorder. Because of you. I love how... Sorry, dude, go on. No, go on. I was just saying, I love how the fact that Sir Blaze is like, Kenneth's dead. Let's go tell Wesker. Rather than find out if he may be still alive. Yeah, although in the original video cut, his head does drop off when the zombie bites him there. Yeah. Uh... Well, you can see his head if you go back now, but... Yeah, again, that's another Wesker! thing that sort of slipped by back in the day. They removed the sequence where you see Kenneth's head drop and turn slightly with half his face eaten off. And then the zombie turns around. But again, it's it's a minor little edit that really you don't notice if you've never seen the uncut version. Uh, excuse me, Jill, there was more than time to check it. There's some ink ribbons there that you'll need later. Too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. It's my recorder that's taking the CP up Can't though, because I used Jordan no, me no, and Skype no, and the emulator and it was fine. Okay. I'll try the that door. sounds I'll about right. Inside. Like I said, do you have a e serial APR or USB 3 port on your laptop? Unfortunately, no. Even the USB 2 one. You might be able to shut down some of the overhead by recording to an external hard drive. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. The thing is, I can speed it up, but it means it'll slow it down even more because of the speed hack. Thanks. Exactly. The other thing I'm looking for is a capture card. No. Um. Uh, sorry, a simmer. Bit groggy. Uh, laptop USB one, sir. If something happens, don't know if that would solve your situation unless you were playing it on a PlayStation. That's what I'd be doing, playing it on a PlayStation. I've got my oh, PlayStation and Resident Evil One. Ah, oh, right. Well, that probably would improve your frame rate significantly. And the thing is, I would be forced not to use save states either way, so I could accidentally do it. <laughs> There's always that one, isn't there? Yeah. There's always when, one. Uh, Go on. Uh, I was just saying, uh, eventually, I mean, I might uh, do a playthrough of Ace Combat, but to emulate it, it seems to be kind of annoying because uh, it uses the old CD audio, so it would have to be played on the PlayStation for correct speed and everything. Hmm. Right, let's go get Yarn's key ridiculously early compared to the director's cut. Because I'm so used to this one, I play the director's cut and everything's changed, everything's moved out of the way. It's confusing as hell. Will you take the clip? Hey, yeah. Hey. It's like, will I take the clip? No, we'll leave him here. Of course we're going to take the clip. Uh, <sighs> I've got 15 in the chamber, what more do I need? Kind of these points are where you can tell who's play people who've played the Resident Evil for a long time not. Especially when it comes to the dogs bit out lit in a short while. Right, we want to go down here. No, push it, not go into it, Jill. Yeah. So I always imagine when you uh, you go to push something but you run, they just sort of like run into it and knock themselves <laughs> out. So yeah, like, there's a point. <laughs> right, okay. We're gonna use this. It's Moonlight Sonata. It's not as bad as last time, I guess. It does. I mean, say, Jill appears to be able to do everything. Was Chris's. And, piano and, the lot, and Chris is just like. Uh, what's a piano? Thing is, Chris has crap weapons as well. That is something that uh, was again makes like hacks back to the difficulty difference. The only but good thing I never Go understood on. why he never got like uh, an, 
equivalent weapon to the bazooka, or maybe that's what the flamethrower is meant to be, but you can only use it like three times. Well, the thing is, Chris has uh, longer uh, endurance, so Jill can get killed by zombies easily, which I found out many times while pl playing this game through without save states and playing it originally. Free it from a normal. Yeah, that's, that's something that has always sort of annoyed me about uh, female video game characters. Yes, they are a woman, so we will make them have less health, but they're a lot faster. Then you got, well, hang on though, but you've got a sound. Hands up, we all did it. Who thought Samus was a dude for all those years? I know I did. The thing is... To know, until someone said to me, like, with uh, Metroid 64 or whatever, I'd only put, well, I think maybe Super Metroid they said about it, but I'd only played, like, the NES one. And they're like, oh yeah, Samus is the, is the, the last one. I was like... Do you know what's funny, though? It took me one one of my snarky cousins who played the, play, only played the NES one and went, oh, if you get such and such a time, you find out anyway. Yeah, if, I think... They say like right at the beginning or some stuff like that as well. You can see that it's like a clearly a woman going in the suit, and I'm looking at the video of it going, never. That's a bloody Nintendo. You can't tell nothing from it, man. Oh crap! I forgot to uh, put the other one back, haven't I? The director's got you after hunting on for about an hour before finding the the brown bloody crest. Everything's moved everywhere. It's annoying. For an again, example. Uh, again, though, I mean, Director's Cut, like they say, is a bit of a cop out because it was made since they cancelled 1.5, so they needed something quick and cheap to get out. And difficult. Uh, admittedly, they do make it harder. Well, the thing is, as again, after a very much of patience and I will admit very abusive use of safe states, I got the. Unlimited Colt and Limited Rocket Launcher in both scenarios. Nice. And it's very fun playing with the Unlimited Colt Python. See, I think, if I remember right, you can only get the Unlimited Colt in the Director's Cup version, can't you? Yeah, you can't rocket get... Launcher originally. You can only get the Rocket Launcher on this one. You also get more costumes than the... You get, like, an extra costume in the original. I mean, there is a Director's Cup. Okay, we've got the, key, the shield key, which we will drop off with a knife and probably the health spray. Wait, did I get that? No, I didn't. Did I? I didn't get the ink ribbon. Excuse me. There with us in a second, folks, having a little difficulty. I'm sorry, but I'm not having that.
game, it reboots and resets itself for some strange reason. Right, I thought it was your own, because I'm like... It, yeah, to it, paraphrase Jill, I didn't expect that was going to happen. <laughs> well, like, the thing is, I've got, like, a neat little trick now, instead of having the usual random moments where my connection just decided to pee off randomly, I've connected to my phone so it's connected to my personal hotspot so it can't die right. on there. So when it said your internet is down, like, no it isn't. No, it's, uh, I, I'm technically in the boonies being a mile and a half away from my exchange and every so often my router will just reset itself and that's it, I can't establish a connection. It Fair hasn't enough. been doing it for quite some time though, so I hope they're not fiddling around too much with it. Uh, right, should I actually bother trying to get the, um, uh... Map, is it an ink ribbon in there? I wouldn't waste your time, really. Not waste bullets, either. I can always kill them for fun later when I've got a better weapon. I do like, uh, being able to trap the zombie behind the cabinet in Remake and just knife it. <laughs> well, I haven't... They can do something like... What are you doing, Jill? Are you... Moonwalking here or something. Hee <laughs> map, yo. I can well, um, there's a similar thing in this way. You can trap a zombie behind the statue upstairs. And you can just either knife him or shoot him with a pistol. Yes, I think you did that last time, didn't you? Yeah, I had learned that from, uh, when go away, Norton. CJ. Oh, the fighting cacata. It's a map of first floor. Will you take it? You got the map of first floor. Grandma, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know how many floors are in this thing, so why do we suddenly know? But you see, that, that's a, a difference as well. This uh, is where... We wouldn't call this first floor, we would call this ground floor, and then the next floor would be the first floor. <laughs> This is where you know if someone play Resident Evil, those who haven't would stick around and probably get killed, those who have will do this. Screw this. Get away. Oh, you son of a... Get out, get out. No, I'm looking get that without getting bit bitten there. Nom, 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 nom. I will go back there. Oh, I didn't really get that bad there. I will go back there later when I've got uh, even more clips or better health or a better weapon. Yeah, it's like I said, Jill, she does get. By the I way, mean, really, you, you get one more weapon, which is the bazooka, but it makes a hell of a lot of difference when the acid rounds can pretty much one hit everything. Do you see this room here, which we. I always thought this room was useless. It turns out it was left. They were supposed to put what they put in the director's cut, but they took it out because it was too hard. There's an actual, in the director's cut, there's a zombie in there and a few clips and some other stuff. <laughs> nice. But otherwise, in this run, it's useless, basically. Oh. Ah, that wonderful lime green wallpaper again. <laughs> I still want to wonder, uh, just taking the case off here. Oh, in the right mind, I've made, put that wallpaper there. It's all by throwing up all of them. Makes you wonder, really. Yeah, it's it's like umbrellas, interior decorators really have no imagination. <laughs> they seem to have much more imagination when it comes to zombies, though. Okay, Frederick Grove, I want you to decorate the mansion. See, si, decorate, senor. <laughs> That's one problem, I mean, I've been having because I'm planning to do all the original trilogy. I can't get Nemesis to load up properly. Really? It'll load to the point where it said this game is very, very violent, and then it'll stop loading. It'll go to a black screen yeah. and it won't load any further. It should play just fine in PSX. Hey, I don't, maybe it's the ROM, I don't know. Oh, I saw, sorry, not ROM. Is that you, Jill? I don't what think, uh, yeah. I've only ever used my uh, copy I've made for my own disc like myself. So. Well, I normally used to do that, it's just the Nemesis one, I still have the game, it's just not in very good enough quality to play. No, have you ever tried brassoing the CDs to try and uh, get rid of scratches and stuff? No. It does take time, but what you can do is uh, use brasso and a soft cloth oh, and then you can like buff your disc that manually instead of close. getting it buffed by a machine. Right, we need to be a bit more quieter. <laughs> You're right. 
Just to see the message from Mon's mum saying, it's a bit too noisy, lol, try to keep it down a little. Didn't you see? I just had something I wanted to check. What did you want to check, Barry? Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you. Are you still there, Luke? Isn't it? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, coughing. <laughs> right. Now we have a very good way. Which will run. <laughs> I was like the fact that you can just literally blow that the arm off the zombie with a handgun. Yeah. Normally I duck past this one, but I got caught by the first one there. Should I? Might as well. You've started on it. God, when when you go back to playing Rizzy Wonder and you can't attack them when they're standing up again. <laughs> it's frustrating, isn't it? Oh, it's just so weird. This is the crow room, I think. Yeah, it is, because the opposite is where the other two dogs are, because at least to the outside area. In fact, I've, yeah, I've to, thankfully, I needed to actually eat that hole, otherwise I wouldn't have an enough space for the emblem. Is it emblem or is it it's crest, isn't it? It's a crest in here. One. Ba, ba, ba. The only one more having test runs actually I made a shot and the crows killed me because if you even shoot your gun by accident they'll all come down and attack you anyway. Well except the ones that are painted on there like uh, those two behind that one that's actually moving. <laughs> hmm? There's some of them that are just pure statically drawn images part of the background. Ah, they didn't have enough uh, free polygons to make them all moving. <laughs> Still, how did the crows get in there is the real question. That is a point. Obviously, Wesker or somebody else obviously let them in. And it, they must always sort of be there because what's supposed to happen is when you do it wrong, it electrocutes the pole to send them off, which is why they attack you. Ah, uh, you can tell they've been a while with all the feathers on the floor as well. This is one point I don't get. Why can't you just take the tram off anyway? Yeah, when you look at it, there's like nothing holding it there. No, it'd be much simpler, wouldn't it? You'd be like, oh, there's something behind you, we'll take it off. Still, I suppose if you're in like a mansion like this, you wouldn't know if it's like booby trapped and stuff. Yeah, that is a point, I guess. You know, you could imagine them walking through the door and seeing a television screen, and then all of a sudden, Hello, Stars Alpha Team. I want to play a little game. <laughs> through this house, there are several traps. Which will see you through to your freedom. <laughs> Who will betray you? Who will be your friend? What truths will be revealed? I think we all, well, ones who are people who are veterans or Resident Evil all know the answers to them questions. Is this... Flee! Yep, flee. Run, 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 run. Get the pair quickly. Then when we've cleared up some space. Oh, crap. It's okay, save room's right there. Yeah. When we've cleared, I'm saving, and now we've cleared up some space, we're going to blow that zombie's head off, I think. Oh, we need to... I must, uh, I must admit, in the director's cut, finding the plant feed outside of that outside stove... To see it's a nightmare, of... isn't it? Or rather, the uh, plant killer. Why would it be outside near a stove? It'd be in a storeroom. Well, I couldn't find it. I'm like, where the hell is it? Because I'm normally used to the original one. So I'm like, where is everything? Because it's all changed. 
and I did not expect Forrest to try and kill me. Excuse me. I wonder if we'll have the uh, magically duplicated handgun clips again. <laughs> Maybe. That I doubt I'll be lucky to <laughs> two things that are wrong. I think that must have been some weird glitch. But it no. was funny. In all the years that I've played this game, even emulated, I've never seen that happen before. Well, I was like, hang on a minute. I've already had these. Yes, I will use one ink ribbon. No, we will not be going in the one memory card one where it's so hard to get the good endings and both of them so I could get the infinite rocket launcher. As you can see, Ali, I've been actually having a few test runs of it. Yeah, no, that's that's always good. I tend to be a big commander, just like, yeah, yeah whatever, it'll be alright afterwards. Well, considering the, how bad the last one went, I'm like, I need to remember the game properly. Yes, well, that's fair enough. Right. We will be taking the shotgun on the basis that uh, I want something, if I end up getting stuck with a load of them, I want something heavy to take them all out. Again, that is sort of a thing, you can get the shotgun pretty early as Jill and yeah. take out a few of the zombies. You just don't, yeah, but the trick is not to know when to do it and when to not because I've had it before where I've lost all the shotgun shells and like, hang on, hunters, you don't expect it. <laughs> uh. oh, I'm not very well. <laughs> What's up? Have you got that flu that everyone seems to be getting? I think it is. Uh, I was working. Uh, I work Saturday, Sundays, like, and um, the guy I was working with, he was driving the truck, and I was uh, loading up with that lot because uh, I work in street cleansing and refuse and that lot. Uh. And he was just like. I t I, he was just like, I tell you what, me last, she's been pretty ill and she's she's giving me this bad chest and that. And then, <laughs> bugger me, Saturday night, I'm there starting to cough, going, whoa, I can't, can't bloody breathe. Because now you've gone like that, I can skip past you, you idiot. How I did that? kept the blood on the wall. I did that earlier on, uh, I found that little trick earlier on, if you manage to shoot the other one down, the other one should be set up properly so you can just skip by him. Nice. Okay, no. Don't follow. Neat. Whoa! Oh, that, okay, that would have worked normally. Get off me. For that. Oh, crud. Okay, I need to take this one out quick. Bang! Did you click? Oh no! That's it, I think. You've got to be kidding me. I was going to say I'm dead there. That was a little unfair, really. Oh, I'm so glad I saved in that save room now. I think that's supposed to be Chris, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, Chris is walking down one of the corridors and then a hunter or something's supposed to jump at him. I know. Not even in that. Not even got to yawn yet and I'm already dead once. <laughs> that's when I'll be finishing this part off when we get to yawn, I think. Which shouldn't be no, that. Oh, that's cool. It's just how it works out, you know, with every boss is. I will not be killing Yon. I rather well, say. Well, like you say, it's, uh, it, it's a good split up point as well, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, because considering about, around about the time you've killed Yon, you've already got the crest, so it's going into the next part of the game, really. Yeah, which of course then you can sort of do the first chunk up to Plant 4 2 and then yeah. go on from there, sort of thing. Spoilers! <laughs> I think you've already noticed spoilers enough when you see Plant 42's roots coming out of the fountain. <clears throat> no, I'm not even going to waste my shots on you. Let's try, hope we can do the same trick twice. Uh... Stairs. 
the fan of the Resident Evil universe. Nope, you're not grabbing it, you're not grabbing it. Ooh, that was close. Oh, come on. That was a bit uncalled for. I'm stuck there. Uh, apparently, you need double team. You've got... Oh, come on. I'm going to have to record some of the, I'm going to have to edit some of these deaths out. No, well, not edit them out, but I'm it into like a big video just to see how bad these one was. Just a death montage. Yeah, I'm like... I can't believe that just happened of all things. <laughs> Being double teamed at the top of some stairs. Oh, what was it my brother was saying? Um... He was saying it was like a video I should do, basically showing, uh, uh, oh, that was it. I was listening to, um, the, the Barry Gray Orchestra collection of, uh, theme tunes for the Jerry Anderson stuff. Ah. Uh. The, <coughs> the Captain Scarlet song. And, we, and he said, basically, we should just put the ending of Resident Evil, Chris's ending, to the Captain Scarlet theme, because he's basically always in a perilous death situation, just like Captain Scarlet is on the end credits. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, this, uh, a song from uh, Dark Cloud 2, original soundtrack. I oh, you am taking that hell spray. That shotgun rage now, is it? Pretty much. I've died twice and I've just been attacked by the thing I've dodged twice. I'm pretty peed off now. <laughs> I'm probably going to use the health. You see, you don't get penalised for F8 sprays in the first one. No. I'm probably going to kill the other two up here with a shotgun and use it. I don't know if you uh, you saw one of my videos. I got some Korean bootlegs of the Resident Evil games recently on eBay. Really? Yeah, what they are is like PlayStation ISOs, I think, with a custom emulator or something daft like that. Right. Oh, and that... they're hot. They're they're hard coded to certain keyboard buttons and stuff, but they're come buggy on. as hell. Come on, come on. Have you seen that? How it should have ended the Dark Knight. Uh yes, I've watched it for quite some time. Like that's what I think. There's a bit where the joke is like, "Do you want to know? I got these scars," and she goes from Batman. I think this a Nemesis one. This imagine that with Nemesis and Wesker with Nemesis going, "Do you want to know how I got these scars?" And Wesker goes, "Jill Valentine," and Nemesis goes, "Jill Valentine." <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's just fits though, doesn't it? Really. Yeah, it's, see, I always did think um, it's a shame we never had another like nemesis creature. It, although I know there is and one in the uh, Resi Six or whatever. Well, I've only but, played the first two Resis and five real. I haven't. I played any of the others. I played the remake something for a few minutes and then thought the controls are stupid. Yeah, I think you said, but that, that, that's the Wii edition. The GameCube controller is much better. <laughs> That's a definite. Right, I'm skipping ahead to get this because I may normally I leave it for when I go there later because that's where the other yawn fight is. But I need it. True story, bro. I came in here one time. There was two <laughs> zombies in there. What? Well, think it was this, in that room. I think that when must be director's cut. Uh, yeah, that's director's cut. I think. Are you sure? I've never I read it on the I'm... original. Right. I, I, it probably could have been. I came over as Chris, and there was two zombies in there, and I papped myself because I was expecting just to run into yawn. <laughs> Which is worse, two zombies or yawn? Uh, I just ran straight into the room, sort of half passively controlling it, and ran straight into the zombies and got killed. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, 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 you're killing me. And you can die. As no cross said, each smit and die. 
And so can you. Yes, I could just see Jill Valentine quoting Duke Nukem quotes. <laughs> Are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. I hate not knowing when you're dead because you know if you get too close they're gonna grab your leg. I remember turning the uh, brightness up on the television back in the day to make sure I could see when the blood spurted out from them when they <laughs> drop on the floor. <laughs> That's uh, Richard's room, that one I think, yeah. Yeah, with the snake key. Well, the armor key. Well, the armor key and you also need the shield key for yawn. We will not be going back there till we get the rest of the crest, though. Barry! Oh, Jill. 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 I'm just here examining What's these tapestries. On? They're fascinating. <laughs> Have you seen them? They're awesome. No, but something's wrong with this house. No. I know. There's only one toilet, right? This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to Could find it be, uh, in first. the back, Barry, where the back door normally is? Okay. <laughs> Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. <clears throat> what is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful. It's ammo. It's Barry, against we don't have things. time for this right now. Better take it with you. <laughs> but how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. When I was playing around with the completed director's cut one and I had the cult two and Barry went, I have this and I went, yeah, I've got one too. <laughs> I came one time and got the video scene but I had a full inventory so obviously you can't pick up the item and he still walks away and that's it, you can't get him again. Oh, that's bad. Right, now this bit on the director's cut cropped me up when bloody Forrest stood up. Oh, yeah, I was, when I first saw my brother play it, because he got to, was it for Christmas or his, I think it was his birthday he got yeah, to. Yeah, look. Hey, what, what, this is what, well, hang on a minute though, Forrest got pecked to death that way, so how was he bleeding here? Does that mean he got picked and then bleeding and came back in the room and went back out again? You still there? Oh sorry, I put it on mute. I was just saying uh, in the book, he, uh, he got separated in an attack and was actually bitten first and he struggled outside and then that's when the crows get him. Uh. Right, should we bother actually talking to him because we can get away with that trick. Cross to chasing us. Uh, he doesn't have the key or anything on him, does he, sir? No, I'm, I'm just wondering if it'll affect the ending, though. You know what? I can't remember. Best to do it. Let's see, just do it anywhere. <laughs> okay, run, Jill. Run. I can no look. Get for that, Nick. Get for that. That was close. It always does sort of make you go, 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 go! <laughs> right, I uh, will go to the other side, which will push the statue down and break it, doing damage to the mansion without getting in trouble for it. You think about it, you do vandalise a lot of items in this mansion, and nobody blames you for it. Yeah, I know, it's like... Well, I suppose, there, I mean, there's no one left alive to really complain. <laughs> well, no. Get down to it, but... <laughs> okay, could you imagine, though, reading the police report when they get back? And it's oh, like, yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> it's like, had to push statue down onto the floor, and then, the, the, like, the chief or whatever's reading it, it's like, property damage, item damage, ah, damage, precious items stolen. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, Jill Valentine. You're running me out of money with the force. Well, that was a quick kill. Last time I did that, I didn't die till later. I took like three or four shots. Uh, the other one should be sneaking behind me as well. Or attempting to.
I'm gonna dread this bit when hunters come out later. Uh, I hear that um, when you're just sort of trying to clear the room, and then they'll just corner you, and then that's it. Right, let's see if I can do the trick I did last time. No, not quite. Oh, maybe I can. Um, bye bye, stupid zombie. I managed to put lost what you saw there, the little glitch I did, I managed to push the zombie ahead of me so I could move out of the way without it hurting me. Nice. Which is quite which I just managed to do that, but it already thrown up all over me. Uh, I am gonna use this here. Only because I know otherwise it's gonna ha I'm gonna regret it when I'm trying to come out the door when there's two both of them there. I think that's the only one you really need to clear, because I always keep running into the side that it's stood at. Ugh, bloody hell. <laughs> Coughing a bit. Uh, should we save just in case, or...? Um, it's up to you, really. I'm, I'm just, just here for the ride. I'd rather, just in case, no my luck, I'll get killed, I'll get slaughtered by the other zombie. Imagine if it was made today, this would be like a memory stick plugged into a computer. It'd, it'd be so like much simpler. I was going to say it'd be so much simpler. <laughs> it's, but like, you've got ink ribbons and you're like, what? Why? How can any ink ribbon save your progress? It's like, it's called writing in your diary. Yeah, you just like plug it into a laptop instead and update your mission <laughs> status. Well, that's basically what she's doing. She's writing in a diary. I mean, you can't. I can't think of any other way to explain it. Right, we're gonna avoid this one, run, and then kill the other one. Bye bye. You might be able to get away with not killing this one on the next uh, screen. Oh, wrong way. The control streak betrayed, betrayed me. <laughs> Sounds about right. <clears throat> um, yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. But I can. Can I? Will I be able to just about sneak past these two? Oh, yes, like a champion. He said, be right in front of you when you come out. He'll also be looking the other way, which is what I'm counting on. I can shoot him with a shotgun from behind then. Oh, yeah, you just got a shotgun in your back. It means you can do that. And then I can do that. <laughs> I have worse than a shell there, but still. Save me from getting killed. Right, let's go kill the root supply. I'm sure this must be the video one. I, well, I think it's just like, um, heavily, heavy industrial, uh, Weed killer, uh, because these, I don't know, it's, it's, see, I, I think, I believe as well that they're part of Plant 4, so what they may be is like a separate plant entity that spawned from it. Well, I did say that, it's, it did say there was multiple experiments on some of the plants, because it said Plant 42 has reacted differently to the other plants that have been tested. Yeah, so this could be another one, <coughs> or just like, uh, because, the, how exactly the chemical escapes isn't known, so it could have got into the water supply in that fountain, and then it's fed probably some algae or something in the pond to form the vines. Possibly. I've sworn to try going past them, because I've never, I thought, for a little bit of a trick, and I thought, I've never tried, I've never seen what happens when you get past them. The plant, the vines slap you. I think you 
can die from that though. You can, but it only t little tiny little takes your health, but it will just slap you across your face. Yeah. Just surely but slowly, yeah. slowly but surely. I've done anyone, any gamer worth of salt wouldn't be wouldn't actually be stupid enough to kill die from it though. You don't. Uh, you it, take it's like, like the whole stub your toe and die kind of thing, isn't it? It's like it takes eight hits to kill you. Uh, this one I can hit. I'm going to say that because I'll need it. I've made two semi good herbs, so. You've also got the armor kit. Or mansion kit, which will now be the end of the. I'm actually. not just like smashed the glass to get that earlier from being in the other room. Yeah, it makes you wonder. I mean, look. You see that in there? Do you know yeah, what that actually you is? You see the emblem, yeah, it's the, the emblem where you put the emblem in the uh, piano room. Yep. Which it, which uh, I've seen someone comment on it saying you could easily escape by just smashing the glass there and getting out, but no. I believe the other zombie will be still there. Ugh. And now we... Hello. Oh, damn, that was a bad shot. Nope. No, you did. I'm not doing too bad for time, though, I'm really. No, not really. I mean, I'm nearly a yawn. Oh, that was close. I thought it was going to get me then. <laughs> I just thought it was going to get me then. And they killed him as well. Might be worth unlocking this door at the top of the corridor, though. Ah, yeah, that's the uh, one that leads to the other one, isn't it? Well, if you unlock that door to the corridor and then do the other room where the zombie comes out of the closet and then that's killed two stuff for one stone, hasn't it? Well, yeah. Uh... Oh, Ooh, I didn't see him there. <laughs> I forgot he was there, actually. I just saw, like, half a hand off screen. We don't need that anymore. Oh yes, good, good. Shotgun ammo. As well as pistols, clips. As well as a broken shotgun we don't no longer need. Please have enough room for these. Ooh, only just. In, in a situation like this, my lock pick would be my mighty boot. Doors locked, <laughs> smash. Not anymore, it isn't. <laughs> it would, I mean. Saying that though, you don't know what these stores are actually made out of. I know you're here this time. Oh, that would my luck. <laughs> <laughs> I know oh, you're here. Then again, Barry does, doesn't he though? No one can beat Barry though, I mean, come on, he's awesome. That is true. Down again. Good, stay down. Get down with the sickness, if you will. Should yeah, I'm going to actually go to save room quickly and put some stuff back, just to make a little bit of room, just in case. No more luck. Oh, I keep forgetting you there. That was too close. Oh. Did I just kill him by shooting him in the nuts? I think I did. He's dead. Yeah, I, d I just killed him by shooting him in the nuts as he was falling. I think it did anyway, I don't know. Alright, how much clip? Uh, better reload, drop, some, drop one of these uh, semi good herbs off on the other herb. You always keep one of these uh, double herbs with me just in case. No, a bad idea. Alright, we only keep the armor key. It certainly helps when you're coming against, uh, like uh, when you're being, like it was earlier, double teamed. It's because you only get help one part when you have a normal good head. Yeah, it's only like a 20% restore or some stuff like that. Whereas if you have a double herb, it's 50, it's 50 to 100, isn't it? Uh, I think it's yeah. Because it's the first aid spread that 100% is it. Right. No, that's the chemical room. So we want to go back down here and unlock uh, the. Dining room bit because we need to go get the gem, don't we? Yep. 
Um, we need to go get the crest. And some extra shotgun shells from in here won't be too bad. Oh yeah, this is and some more clips as well. The itchy, tasty room. Oh god, this is the book, isn't it? It is. I'm definitely going to encrypt that then because this will one shot it. As long as it's it. thing. Was it? Scott came, ugly face, don't like him, so kill and eat him. Itchy, tasty. Itchy, itchy. That's the one. No, no, no. I like how just Jill's just strolling by as if to say, "What was that?" You got it. You... <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I'll have a look at this. Why, when he died, he's like, "I'll go stand in the cupboard." <laughs> yeah. Keep his diary. May 9th, nineteen ninety nine. What? Nineteen ninety eight. At night, we played poker with Scott the guard, alias Steve the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs, and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. So, so anyone from Newcastle, then? I was going to say something like that. <laughs> May 11th, 1998. Around five o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying space suit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those stupid dogs today. Now I feel better. May 13th. 1998. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back. The doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's bed. They've been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them have escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups signed out. May 15th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time. But I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of a joke is this? May 16th, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from the mansion was shot last night. My <laughs> entire... Extreme, isn't it? My entire bird body feels burning and itchy and like when I was scratching and swelling the arm a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy scrub cake. Ugly face for killed him. Tasty. Itchy tasty. <laughs> that was also a pretty good one. Keeper's diary has been filed. And there's the keeper. <laughs> What's left of him? He yeah, including the swelling keeper. on his leg. Including the aforementioned swelling on his leg. Bop and book it in his car. <laughs> he is the keeper. He has He's got two suits here as well. He's got ah, two yeah, now, suits. I keeper means like he's a uh, groundskeeper. I was going to say, but, I, but then you've got two suits here as well. I've always wondered, is this a desk you can... No. There's some of one of these desks, I think, which people don't really check, but I think you can get into them. Okay. Right. Slow walk or die. Right, let's go. You unlocked it. Very good, Jill. There is uh, another one of the remake things. I forget which door it is. Uh, it's in the other corridor on the other side of the mansion. You know where you can go to the uh, to the bottom of the stairs. Oh where yeah. There's that zombie in the herb leading to the, the the chemical room. The doorknob's actually broken in the remake. Oh yeah, there is. Can, uh, there is. There is in this one as well. Off, yeah. It's, uh, it says the door handle's broken, it just, you can't do anything with it, because you can get, funnily enough, it'll say you can, 
you've unlocked it from the other side, yet yeah? how do you get it from the door handle from one side to the other? Yeah, it's carry it with them. Surely it's broken on both sides, I mean. Now, I've never done this, but apparently people keep saying to check the jewel over. Uh... There's nothing special, I think. It just says, oh, just. I think it's people who are just a bit nostalgic about how well designed the game is. But. You know what? I miss this 3D item viewer. If you look carefully on the roof, of, on the top of the jewel, there is actually the Umbrella Corp sing, sing, symbol there. Ah, uh, yes. Which is the, what I was uh, looking for. Light on red. Which is what I was looking for. Because I wasn't sh it's shining beautifully. I wasn't sure if it was this one or the remake, but there is. It is that one. I think it's the same with the red jewel. Right. Yeah, that would make sense. Here at Umbrella Corporation, we're so egotistical, even our <laughs> jewels have our symbol on them. Even though we're trying to keep a lowdown on what we're actually doing. Yeah, I know. It's like. No, no, we're, we're a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> but you've got jewels with your symbol on them. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that that was Frank. He, he really likes the Umbrella logo. <sighs> right, come on then, Tiger. No, no we don't want to use the key on, key on you. Give us the crest. When you're ready. Now I wonder how she fits the gems into the eyes, because... Yeah, well, I was wondering that earlier, actually, I was like, that was a bit of a big gem for that small eye. Unless it's actually like, bigger than, not, than it looks. Because you can just see how it fits there. Yeah, it looks like a really snug fit. Mm. Again, I know it's a video game and that, but it, it's sometimes fun to think on these things. Yeah, it's fun to pick at them sometimes. It's how you make video game parodies on YouTube, I think. Yeah, exactly. Right, now we've got that. I think the last one in needs is the gas room, which is that way, isn't it, I think? Yep, back near Yarn, isn't it? In yep. the armor room. And I'm also going to go by the costume room and collect the extra shotgun shells. Uh, I think, uh, we might as well drop off the uh, crest while we're here. Alright, free up some inventory space. Mm. I still need to find a lighter as well, don't I? Because you can't get these other acid rounds in your, by the room by your room, otherwise. The lighter's up near uh, the second yarn encounter in that uh, double room. Ah. Because you need it to get the second floor up as well, don't you? Yeah, you use it to burn the, uh, set the fireplace going on the first one. Which the reveals floor. the ink on the paper. They kind of did a national treasure thing with that, really, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Even though national treasure came out after this, so I don't know who stole whose idea, really. Now, should I waste a shotgun shell or should I try killing my pistol? I'm going to use a pistol. I don't want to. I've got yarn coming, so Ronnie can save as much shells as possible. Ah, uh, you uh, you going to fight yarn? No, you going to. I don't know, really. I'm tr I'm going to try sneak past him, but if it comes to me getting trapped, I'm going to need them. How is that not reaching? Oh, come off it! Oh. Back down and stay down. Not your butt. I got them both on top of each other there. One likes the other's company. <laughs> Apparently so. Hey, we're not here to judge. <laughs> we don't know how uh, zombophilia gets. Well, if they want to be necrophiles with each other, that's fine by them. They're already dead. Did they actually... Oh yeah, the other one must have died earlier on then. Wait, I thought you only attacked one of them. I did attack the other one to stop him from coming near me. I just thought I knocked him down. I yeah. must have killed him. 
Right, uh, in fact, actually, we'll just go to pop to the costume room now and get those extra shells, I think. Really, Jill, you'll run across the hallway, but you'll go down the stairs as slow as possible. Oh, that does not make sense. Again, a fair bit of lag at this point, dude. Oh, God. Uh, it's the CPU usage more than what else. It's not actually the memory. I've got like a terabyte hard drive in this thing. Uh, if you're on about the stairs thing, it was the first stairs that I was on about, not the second slot. Yeah, well, I thought he meant the light because of the way I said the stairs. It was the second lot, first lot of stairs I was in about. Oh, right, right. I thought it was going to kill me. Why do I always think they're always going to manage to get me and then somehow they don't? And then when I don't think they get them, and they always do. Sod's law. Pretty much. It's like when you think, is the fridge light on? Yeah. Right, that's fifteen six in the barrel. I can't get into costume room, but I can. I'm gonna go nick this zombie's herbs. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bother with the. Uh... In fact, no, I'm not even. Gonna... I'm not even gonna bother with these herbs. I've got more than enough. I can't get up. Thing is, I can't go. I'm gonna. I don't know where we should go now because if you go back in there later, when after the hunters come, there's like a hunter or two in there. Uh, to be honest, I, I've never gone back in afterwards when the hunters reappear. I have once, and they're like, "What are you doing here?" Because there's a hunter there. It's because I ran out of <laughs> uh, the uh, ink ribbons. We should be good for now. Right, we're gonna go upstairs. Is it left hand side or right now? Because I'm thinking. Oh. Huh. Uh, where are we going? I'm trying. Well, I want to go to do, get the last crest before yawn. I'm not sure if it, which side it's at though. Uh, it's it's on the forest side of the mansion. I thought it was. I'm just. I'm making sure I don't want to end up going to the wrong side and wasting a lot of time. And then you go past the daughter yawn and Richard. And it's the door on the corner. Yeah, we got there's the door to Richard and them too. Yeah, and it's around the corner and then it's that double blue door. Anyways. And then the armor key gets used on Richard's door as well, leading to Yarn and... On That's the all the use of it. Outside, leading to the furnace where there's the herbs. No, I won't make the same mistake. Earlier on, do you know when I press the button? I was thinking I was sitting. No, the earlier when I pressed the button, it was both on. Don't get me wrong. I took the crest and then I moved back and accidentally moved it from the vent, and it still gassed me. <laughs> it gassed me because it had moved nice. from the vent. It didn't kill me or poison me. I'm like, <gasps> but it kind of injured you a little. Oh, uh, this may sound a bit sad, but years ago I was trying to make a game of it. Um, angling Jill so I can see where her hand presses and trying to make it so her hand perfectly pressed the button. That's not sad at all, I've done similar things. <laughs> it's just what I used to do years ago when I played it. It's what you do when you get, when, you, when you've played it to the point where you've got nothing left to do, you find stuff like that there, don't you? I think that's why you've got the reward of the ro infinite rocket launch. Sure. Should we do the botany book or not? Uh, it's up to you. It's just for plants, so I'd, we'll leave this one, I think. Okay. See, it says you unlock it, then you try and go back through it, and the door the door handle's clearly there, look. Oh, 
Oh yes, on this one. Then you go. How? Yeah, no, in um, in in remake, you see the blue door below you for the corridor downstairs. It's that door that they put the broken handle on, so you can only go through it two or three times, and then it breaks. That's... And then you go wait till uh, when you come back, and then Barry's repaired it. That's stupid. It makes it, uh, it's, it's to make it more harder, but I think it can break on Chris's scenario as well. But then obviously when Wesker comes back, he, he gives you the message that he's repaired it. Even though it probably hasn't, it's just Barry. Yeah, see that's something that always, is, well, like the same, they don't know where Barry is. But <laughs> clearly Barry's not dead even in Chris's scenario. He must just be like outside eating a sandwich or something, just going... Bad, I hope Chris and Jill are alright. Ah, this sandwich is too tasty. You'd fear, the thing is, he's got... That sounds like a lot like Barry, because he'd be like, Oh, come here, dogs, and you'd just boot him in the head, basically, yeah. wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. In fact, I think I'm going to save before this, because... I have a feeling this is going to end very, very badly. Well, you could... You could go to Richard. Oh, you mean save in the forget. serum room? Yeah, you've got to go and get the serum for him, and then you could, I don't know, finish it there, or go and give him the serum and go and fight Yon. I want to get all the crests, basically, but I will save in the serum room. I'll go back to Richard, I'll get the I'll avoid or fight Yon either way. Yeah, that, that's probably a good way, and that's a, a good spot to end it, sort of thing, isn't it? Then I, I mean, get all the crests. I've got, like, a good herb. I mean, Sparry will save me when I get poisoned, so I could fight oh, you on. now, because he's, uh, you've met him at the hall, and he's given you the... It, doesn't, bother, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Really? As long as you yeah. save Richard, it doesn't matter. But you must save Richard. Oh. Half save him, shall we say? Uh, yeah, I remember the first time I did it uh, when I didn't save Richard because I'd I'd come straight up here as quick as possible and then I went in exploring the rest of the map and I came back with the serum and she's like, "It's too late, he's dead." And I was like, "Richard, what, what happened?" No, that kid, no. You, you've got to go oh. a certain way though. If you go to, I think, this if you do, don't go on the path you meant to go, he'll die. Yeah. Ouch! Ouch! You're wounded! What kind of demon attacked you? It's alright, just give me an FA spray and the anti-venom will be fine. I think there's a parody on that where Richard goes, where Chris is like, we'll make serum out of vodka and Richard goes, I think it might have been better smoking one of those blue herbs. There is serum. Oh, but I didn't bring any with me. Yes, because she was a fool. No problem. I'll go and but get it. But to be honest here, you wouldn't like browse a medical yeah. rack and think, ah, slit anti-venom, I might need that. You, I mean, he must have gone back, he must have gone by the save room and seen the vet's face serum. Otherwise, well, he wouldn't have known it. Well, I'm mean, like, hmm, do I need that? No, we'll leave that. It's not like I'm going to be attacked by a massive snake or anything. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's like you don't expect to be attacked by a 25 foot long snake. I mean, the thing is that. I've, I've gone the wrong way, we need to go the other way for that way, don't we? Yep. The quickest way. Which is through the corridor. Uh, taking the top route is pretty much as quick as you can get. Yeah, that's the way I normally go. The top route through the uh, dining room corridor down. I don't go any other way because I don't trust it. I'm No, Jill, do not go in the wall. You need to go save your friend instead of going through walls or hanging around. I think on the original recording, right, we, we were never like, where's Wesker? Rail said, I think it's, don't worry, he's in the cupboard, love. <laughs> it kind of makes Wesker's you look like at... Some trench coat wearing creeper that's hiding out in the bushes. Are we on about Mr. X then? No, no, I'm saying Wesker, he's, he's just like, you know, the old old man in the trench coat walking down the street kind of thing, hiding in the bushes. You mean like in the, uh, but yeah, yeah, 
I'm, a bit, I'm never going to look at West Bros. the same again, really, after we with you two now. Oh, you Valentine. Right, we... We've already unlocked that room, so we don't need the armor kit at the moment, do we? Uh, no, no, not for the snake room. Like I said, that should only have one more use to the door that leads outside where you can pick up some more herbs, but I have to fight three dogs. <sighs> um, should I take the other one? Um... <sighs> no, I'm gonna... In fact... Yeah, I'll take the other one just in case. I'm just gonna get the ink of an onion. I've got. I'm gonna have enough room. What you could do is say uh, fight yawn and that, but you've also got the uh, the lighter to go and pick up still, and then you could get the extra bazooka rounds. But you could do that after fighting yawn. Well, I'm gonna basically get this crest and come back here. Say, well, basically gonna get the crest of gasp, get probably do the uh, Barry ending, come back here and save, and that'll be it for this one. Yeah, that's cool. And then I'll probably go to bed because I'll be up for work in the morning. <laughs> uh. Mind you, what we now with? 20 past 10, and I can still see daylight. Yeah, I just had another message off my mum telling me to shut up. Apparently, I'm being a bit too loud. Yeah, unfortunately, parental units can always think that. Well, they are trying to get some sleep, and there was a little ill. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why I'm only cutting it off quite early, this one. Okay. Yeah, well, that's cool, dude. I'm gonna need that. To be honest, <laughs> I wouldn't know anymore. I can just technically for once stay up all day, all night, but... That wouldn't be advisable for work. No. It's not advisable for college either. Uh, no, I can attest to that one. I can attest to that one. Well, well I've just made a mistake, haven't I? Uh, sorry, I was just loading up my email. Oh, dear. No, you've got the... Uh, did you pick the serum up? No. I'll have to uh, I think I'm gonna cut it off here then. And restart from the next one. That's so, fair enough. This has been part one of the re recording of Resident Evil No Safe States folks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>